On the 2nd of September 1965, Ingeso, Zamfara State, Dauda Lawal came into the world of men. Dr. Dauda Lawal graduated from Amadou Bello University with a BSc in Political Science. He obtained an MSc in Political Science and International Relations from the same university in 1992 and holds a PhD in Business Administration from Usman Damfodu University, Sokoto. He further took various courses at the London School of Economics, Harvard Business School and Oxford University Business School. The CEO of Creden Capital is a humble and resilient achiever. Every step he takes is strategically analyzed and meticulously executed to ensure maximum benefit for his business and his society at large. Life is not a game of chance, he says. You must think it through. As you are aware of uh, what is happening globally because of the uh, pandemic, and uh, Nigeria is also part of those, uh, facing those challenges. And you're also aware that uh, when you're starting a new business, there will always be little hiccups here and there. But what I can tell you is that uh, we're able to face some of these challenges squarely and uh, we are coming out of it and we're making significant progress in the company. Well, I can say that uh, the most important thing is empowering people in a friendly environment that people will be able to do their business without facing too many regulatory challenges as well as fiscal policies. Well, I can tell you that uh, I am fulfilled. Why did I say that? When I graduated, part of what I wanted to be is in the foreign service. And uh, I have had the opportunity to work with the Nigerian embassy in Washington, D.C. for about 10 years. And uh, at a point, I was in charge of consular which has to do with issuing visas and passports. After that, I've gone around through different departments. In fact, my last assignment was in the protocol division. I was in charge of protocol, and I was liaising between the Nigerian government as well as the American government to set up meetings and some other important uh, dignitaries. After that, my second most important thing was to be a banker. And I came back to Nigeria. I joined First Bank. I've had different roles in the banking sector, ranging from relationship manager to area manager, as well as business development manager in Abuja. After which I was appointed as executive vice president in charge of uh, public sector in Abuja. Two years down the line, I was appointed executive director in charge of public sector. In fact, that is the highest that any banker can be. And I'm glad I went through that process until I resigned in 2017. So I'm really, really fulfilled in terms of my career in life. Well, uh, the next thing now is uh, one is to look at uh, how one can impact positively, bearing in mind the kind of experience that I had, both in public sector and in private sector. What I do now, or what I intend to do, is to continue to impact knowledge in the minds of younger generation who are coming now. Looking at uh, history in Nigeria and uh, where we are today in terms of leadership, I think it's high time for people that had the experience and the exposure to be able to join politics and make Nigeria greater. Because if people like us continue to run away from politics, then it means there'll be no hope for the country. This is one of the reasons why I felt there's a need for some of us
to be in that area so that we can also contribute our own quota, just as we did in the private sector. Character, they say, is like smoke. It cannot be hidden for long. Dr. Dauda Lawal has true hard work, diligence, and humility proven his strength of character and the trust and respect of the people of Zamfara State and Nigeria at large.